Hi, and welcome to Retro Eric. You might remember a few years back, I made a very short video about this uh, CGA to SCART converter. Very easy, you could build it yourself with uh, just a few uh, resistors and uh, uh, some cabling. Um, I made a video then that uh, showed uh, that it worked, and it did. Um, of course, the brown color was not correct on this, but it was a very cheap and easy uh, to make uh, CGA to Scott converter. And uh, just yesterday, I was uh, thinking about this uh, video, and um, I thought to myself, can I make a CGA to VGA converter? So I took the same design and uh, removed the electronic components that combines horizontal and vertical sync. Because, as you might know, um, SCART uh, cannot uh, take horizontal and vertical sync, so you need to make a composite sync. So that's these uh, electronic components here. They are basically making uh, the composite sync from horizontal and vertical sync. But on a VGA uh, monitor, you don't need to do that because it supports horizontal and vertical sync. So I just removed the circuits uh, for making a composite sync and I kept the circuits that uh, controls the intensity. Uh, the CGA signal has RGB and it has uh, on pin 6 um, the intensity signal. But VGA uh, does not operate on uh, <clears throat> the same principles so it does not have a, a pin for intensity. So uh, what these resistors actually do, it, it uh, controls the intensity signal so that, it's, uh, so that all 16 colors are shown on the VGA. And uh, as you can see, it works. Um, the brown color is not brown, but it's more dark yellow. That is a problem with this design, but uh, heck, it's a very easy design and very cheap design. So here is the breadboard that I used to make it. Um, the two wires on the left there, that's ground, ground in and ground out. And to the left we have uh, the blue, green and red input from the CGA. Uh, goes to the three resistors and it meets up with the uh, intensity signal that comes in here on the orange wire and the three resistors that uh, connects again to the RGB out. And the horizontal and vertical uh, wires are just connected directly from the CGA side to the VGA side. So uh, it's a very simple design, uh, but as you can see, it works. Of course, you need a CGA, uh, a VGA 15 kilohertz capable monitor to use this. But uh, if you are like me, you are using this already for a Atari or a Commodore Amiga or something like that. So, um, and this is now a very easy way to get very sharp, very stable pictures from the CGA. I can also mention that this will, of course, also work on uh, the Commodore 128D, who has a RGBI output, and it will work on Tandys and uh, Amstrad uh, PPCs, uh, and basically all uh, computers that delivers an RGBI or a CGA signal. It also works on EGA. Uh, in the lower resolution, EGA and CGA is basically the same signals, but in the high EGA resolution of 640 times 350, um, that it uses uh, 31 uh, kilohertz instead of 15. Uh, I tried that uh, earlier today, and it actually worked, but there was something wrong with the uh, with the sync or something, so uh, the screen was. Uh, uh, too too much high and starting over again at the bottom. So um, you can use it if you have to, but um, uh, for the CGA, now the EGA 640 times 350 is not the best solution. 
Okay, I hope you uh, liked the video and uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel.